Dennis Murphy decided to challenge the NBA by creating the American Basketball Association. The happy whirling dervish <laughs> known as Dennis Murphy uh, is that he was always optimistic. He knew it could be done. It was going to happen. He, he was a tremendous cheerleader, you know, and, and he instilled in everybody involved renewed confidence that whatever the obstacles, you know, this was going to be successful. Many felt Dennis was the perfect man for the job, but Dennis wasn't without doubters. The NBA had Larry O'Brien as their commissioner, and he took us very lightly. He didn't think, you know, we wouldn't get started. We, we didn't have a chance. I was sitting in my office in Chicago, and I got a call from an old friend, George Mikan. At that time, George Mikan was one of the most prominent and popular former NBA basketball personalities and icons. And he said, you know, he said the most amazing little guy walked into my office today and he says he wants to start a new major league to compete with the National Basketball Association. Would you like to come up and join the meeting? I said, sure. And I walked in and sure enough, there's Dennis Murphy with big George Mikan. We sat down and he gave a vision for the creation of a new major league in American sports. And I walked out and I said, this guy could never do it. Even with all the odds against me, not only did I manage to convince George Mikan to join our new league, but I also talked him into becoming the very first ABA commissioner. George was a very very well-known guy. Everybody knew Big George, and he was a very nice man. And his new alliance with the ABA gave the Startup League immediate credibility and legitimacy. I remember it was so funny how George had only three words to say at his first press conference as the new ABA commissioner. Good luck, baby. <laughs> <laughs> So what Dennis Murphy didn't realize is when he started that uh, ABA is that he changed the lives of a lot of people. Uh, it, was, it was a crazy league, <laughs> no doubt about it. And it didn't get any crazier than the ABA's choice of basketball. Well, first of all, George Mike, and it was his idea, and George was 6'10", and George weighed 300 and about 40 pounds uh, in those days. And George said, we're gonna use the red, white, and blue ball. Does anybody wanna fight about it? And the answer was, I'm not gonna fight with you, George. <laughs> we certainly knew that if we had him in the league, he was iconic, as Pat Boone was iconic, and Dr. J turned out to be iconic. And those were the kinds of things you need to put in a league, a new league to make it very successful because it gives its, its pinning, its foundation. And without that, it won't survive. 